the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 151, Psalms 86 to 89, calling for God with both hands. God helps and comforts those who follow the Lord's way with a humble and whole heart. First point, David sang to God to forgive his sins. In Psalm 86, David prays to God to teach him God's way. Even in the circumstances of poverty, hunger, and threat from the enemy, David says that he wishes to put his whole heart in glorifying God. David was someone who relied on God all throughout his life amid his highs and lows. Even God's people go through periods of doubt. Just because someone has a strong faith does not mean that their energies are always soaring high. These people try hard to consistently keep their faith even in times of hardship. We should always keep our faith in God even in times of doubt. In Psalm 86, David writes his Lord multiple times. This was David acknowledging God as his master and himself as God's servant. David called himself God's servant and tried to deepen his relationship with God all the more. Second point, the psalmist sang of Mount Zion in Jerusalem. Psalm 87 was written by the descendants of Korah. And the psalmist praises God in Jerusalem where his presence dwells. The reason for singing in Jerusalem was because that was where God's laws were proclaimed. Because God dwelled on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, that was the most beautiful place on earth. It was a safe place where God ruled. Thus, the psalmist claimed that Mount Zion was a blessed place. The psalmist repeats that there it was proclaimed three times. It emphasizes how Zion became the center of faith with surrounding countries such as Egypt, Babylon, Philistine, Tyre, and so on. This puts into perspective that although each person belongs to their own respective nations, they are all collectively God's people in faith. Even though Egypt and Babylon had been long-standing enemies of Israel, they were still able to call one another God's people, the people of Zion. Third point, the psalmist called God with his hands clasped together every day. Psalm 88 was written by Heman the Edrite. The psalmist expressed his great distress. The psalmist prayed to God to hear his prayer, and he put his hands together to listen to God every day. The psalmist said, Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. I call to you, Lord, every day. I spread out my hands to you, but I cry to you for help. Lord, in the morning, my prayer comes before you. The psalmist was surrounded by darkness. This reminds us of Job. But even during his suffering, the psalmist still held on to prayer. He had a faith that God listened to his prayer. The psalmist may have wanted to give up countless times a day, but he still tried to find hope in God by praying. Fourth point, the psalmist sang of the covenant God made with David. Psalm 89 was written by Ethan the Edgerite, who sang that God called David to be his servant. 
This relationship was not simply one of a master and a servant, but a relationship of love. The psalmist furthermore expresses this as the relationship of a father and son. God's grace and sovereignty is a recurring theme of the Old Testament. The reason the Israelites were able to receive forgiveness for their sins and have faith during the times of national crisis was all because of God's grace. The psalmist uses the covenant God made with David as the main theme of his poem. He focuses on God and writes that it was not because of David's greatness, but because of God's greatness that this covenant was made. Fifth point. The psalmist asked God to remember the covenant he made with David and to save Israel. Lord, where is your former great love, which in your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, Lord, how your servant has been mocked, how I bear in my heart the taunt of all the nations. The psalmist prays to God to remember the covenant he made with David so that he could save Israel. The psalmist hopes for God to restore Israel to its blessed days. I will be his father, and he will be my son. When he does wrong, I will punish him with a love wielded by man, with floggings inflicted by human hands. But my love will never be taken away from me, as I took it away from Saul, whom I removed from before you. Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me. Your throne will be established forever. As such, the psalmist prays to God to remember Israel and to save them. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.